Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. According to what we've been told, this is how it looks. It's a 4-3-3. Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. We have already started here. Trigueros, and it's played forward, cuts it out. Bielski, real chance! He can pounce on that. Dinamo Kiev have been the more adventurous for me and productive and now they have to add that clinical bit he's come loose has a hit oh and they really should have been made to pay that's just front foot enforcement pressure leads to mistake leads to chance Raul Albiol. Albiol plays it forward. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Tries lifting it over. Tries to get it clear. <laughs> Alcacer. Oh, some tackle that. Now a chance to break. Alberto Moreno. Keeper sends it forward. No position to make that interception. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Defenders on the back foot. It's got through to him. Now it's Alcacer. Alcacer. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Just brushed. And the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Forward it goes. The ball is over the line.
Ajax has got rid of that. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Villarreal with it back again. Now it's Alcacer. Ibora. Place it into the box. the final action of the first half so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying it's been an interesting game up to now but still goals any strong opinions on the first half well i think despite the scoreline it's been watchable and enjoyable we certainly had a, a vibrant start and if we were going to see a goal it, it should have come then but the odds are favorable for for this second half so they head in, no further forward. The score here, still nil-nil. But if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Dinamo Kiev clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. And he's on a charge. Bujalski. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hoists it high. And back to base. Got options out wide. He gets past his man. Trill has a pop. Hoists it forward. And it's Bujalski. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Gets it upfield. Cazorla. Shot a goal! Well, that is rather wayward. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Sticks in a foot to win it back. A real chance to break. With a delicate ball. Ibora. And here's Alcacer. Look, and he has been fouled there. Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we've just witnessed it. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement.
Villarreal have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Dinamo Kiev. Break the deadlock. I think the danger for them now is fatigue. I think when the body tires, the mind soon follows. So concentration is key from here. Dinamo Kiev probably could have killed things off, but they should be okay here. Two minutes to be added on. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Time and again, they are repelled. And that's it. Dinamo Kiev, hold on. It's a narrow squeak, bit of luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Thrilling, now 